welcome to Chappie TV. Who's your team? Queenslanders! Who's going to win? Queenslanders! Give me a Q! Q! Give me an L! L! Give me a D! D! Queenslanders! Good morning. So we are continuing with our Fruit of the Spirit series today and today we're going to be talking about faithfulness. So let me ask you a question. Who's your team? When State of Orange is on, is on, who do you go for? Are you a Queenslander, a cane toad, or New South Wales, a cockroach? Do you know when State of Origin on, it is, is on at our place, it is loud and it is noisy. Sometimes we go to friends' house and watch it. Either way, it's loud and noisy. My daughter, if she's home, loves to yell at the TV when football's on. You can hear the neighbours yelling at the TV. It's very exciting. You know, when I was a kid, football was always really big. My dad played football, my brother played football. And when we were watching the football, I can remember sometimes thinking, oh, I'd pick a team and halfway through the game, if they were losing, I'd be like, no, I'm swapping teams. And I would swap over to the other team who was winning. Not a very faithful decision. We had a family lunch on Sunday because it was my son's birthday. My sister-in-law loves the Broncos. They are her team for as long as I can remember. She has Broncos license plates on her car. And I don't know if you follow the football, but the Broncos have had a couple of big losses. A loss to the um, Eels, 6.34, to the Roosters, 0.59. Pretty bad beating. And people, are st I've heard a few people say over this last week, might be time to pick a new team. And so we were giving my sister-in-law a bit of a hard time. Might be time to pick a new team, go with someone else. And she was like, no way. You stick with your team. She's faithful to her team. She's not changing because they're not doing well. She's not changing because it doesn't look the way she thought it was going to look this season. She is standing firm. She's committed. She's unwavering. She's dedicated. She's loyal to her team. She's not quitting or giving up on them because it's not going well this season. Even though people are giving her a hard time about it. She is not jumping ship. She is standing firm. Do you know, faithfulness is important in all areas of our life. In our relationships, family relationships, friendships, in marriages as you get older, serving in church and community and school, chores that you have to do. So you might have different chores, making your bed, doing the laundry, doing the folding, doing the dishes, doing the dishwasher, putting the bins out, mowing the lawn. There might be all kind of chores that you have to be faithful to keep doing and to commit to. You need to use faithfulness in your schoolwork to see it through, to put in the hard work and the effort that you need to get the results that you want, to not give up halfway through, to finish the year well and the term well. You have to be faithful to keep at that. If you have a job, you've got to be faithful to work hard, to learn well, to be on time, to do the things that your boss requires you to do. If you play a sport, if you have a hobby, if you do dancing, if you do music, you've got to be faithful to practice, faithful to keep learning and growing in that area, to keep at it, to not give up even if it takes a long time, even if it seems too hard. And what about God? Are you faithful to him? Do you know if you've decided to follow God and be a disciple of Jesus Christ, are you a faithful follower? Do you keep following God when being obedient is hard, when people are giving you a hard time for being a Christian or for going to church or for going to youth group? Do you keep being faithful to God when you've prayed for something and he doesn't answer you the way that you think. When things don't go right, when there's a painful or hurtful situation to you or somebody you care about, do we stay faithful to God? When peer pressure encourages you to do what everyone else is doing, can we remain faithful to God? <clears throat> do you quit or give up on God when you've prayed and he doesn't answer the way that you wanted him to? Do you know... 1 Corinthians 16, 13 says, Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous and be strong. It's not easy to remain faithful. It takes a bit of hard work. But just like the other 
fruits of the spirit that we've spoken about over the term. As we grow in God, the fruit of that spirit grows in our life as well. It takes courage and it takes strength to stand firm and to be faithful. Over this term, we've looked at nearly all of the fruits of the spirit. We've looked at love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, self-control, and today we're doing faithfulness. All of these fruits are in God's character. That's why they're a fruit of the Holy Spirit. There's a song that I've been listening to by Bethel. It's called The Goodness of God. And it, some of the words go like this. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath while I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Do you know, I've seen God's faithfulness over and over in my life. I've had some hard things to deal with and to walk through, as I'm sure you have, or you know someone who has. Things that I could have given up on God. I could have thought, you know what, God, you don't care about me anymore. You're not here through this. Why is this happening? And I probably did think those things. But I was able to go back to the truth, the truth of what the Bible says, that God, God is faithful. That's in his character too. So when he says, I'm not giving up on you, I know that's true. When he says, I'm close to the brokenhearted, I know that's true. When he says, nothing can separate you from my love, I know that's true. When he says, if you repent and ask me for forgiveness, I forgive you no matter what you've done. I know that's true. And so God is a faithful, faithful God, even when things don't look like the way they should. Has my life been pain-free? No. Has it always been easy? No. But God has always, always been faithful to me. Jesus was faithful. He, he at one point prayed to God, you know, before he died on the cross, is there any other way we can do this? But God said, here's what I need you to do. And he was faithful to what God had asked of him and what God had called him to do for us. God doesn't change his mind. He is unwavering about the way he feels about you. So can I encourage you that when things don't look the way that they should, when you question whether God loves you, when you question if you're going through something, is he really there? To look in the Bible and to remember, to see what the Bible says about that. Look for yourself. I've told you some of the things that the Bible says about God's faithfulness, but have a look for yourself. And always remember that there is nothing that you can do that will make God love you any more or any less than he already does. He just loves you full stop. Let's pray. Father God, thank you. Thank you that you're a God who does not give up on us. You're a God who never quits. You're a God who is faithful and good. Thank you that your scripture is true and we can know that you don't leave us, that we are never separated from your love for us, that you forgive us, that you care about us when we're going through painful and hurtful things. You are close to the brokenhearted. Please help us to stand firm. Please help us to be strong and courageous and to stand firm in our faith and um, to be faithful in all areas of our life. As we grow closer to you, help us to grow in that fruit of the Spirit. We thank you for your faithfulness again and we thank you for your blessing. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have a great week. Ready? Ready? Let's, Let's go. go! Love, joy, joy peace, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Okay. Hmm. Esther, why aren't you doing it with us? Oh, I'm just really worried about my hair. It's falling out. Aww. Aww. Hair? Oh, you look beautiful. Girl. Okay. It's not about your hair. Yeah. It's about being part of the team. Yeah. Yeah. Being faithful. Yeah. 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 Come on. Okay. Because it's okay. Okay. Let's Let's go. Go. Ready? Ready? Let's, Let's go. go. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Hey, white boys, look, look. They're about to, to kick the winning goal. Let's see if they get it. Oh, oh, oh can they? Are they going to? Oh, oh, oh. 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 oh, that's it. I don't even want to be in this team anymore. What? I'm just cheering for, like, a losing team. I want to be the winning team. Oh, come on, Timu. It's not about winning. It's about...
dabbing part of the team. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, team. Come on, team. Come on, team. Come on, team. Come on, You got this. Come on, team. Let's try this. 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 Let's go. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, too. Woo!